In this video, I'm going to be talking about the data table in Flourish and some of the basic sort of data editing and cleaning that you can do once your data has already been put into Flourish. Um, and most of this is going to be done here in the data tab, but just so you know, this is sort of the chart that we're working with. Um, it's a sort of stacked column chart that's showing um, a fake data set, I believe, about um, UK universities and their students by home country and year. Um, so here is the data tab and here's the data table. Um, we should all sort of be familiar with what it looks like um, already, but if not, here it is. Um, and the thing to keep in mind is that all the sort of basic data editing and, and cleaning things that you can do in more sort of advanced uh, spreadsheet programs like Google Sheets and Excel, um, you can do in Flourish. So things like editing cells, um, you can see that changed over there. Um, and dragging cells around, or sorry, dragging columns around, um, uh, deleting columns, so control click will give you this context menu which lets you remove or insert columns. Um, same with rows, so control click on the row and it'll give you remove row or insert row above or below. Um, there's also a bunch of options for columns um, with this little carrot menu here. So if you click here, it opens up all these options, which include remove column and insert column, but also things like filter and sort A to Z and Z to A. Um, the filter data option is sort of an intense filter. Um, it's going to filter out any row where the value is not in the range for that column. So and it's you can't really undo it. Um, so it's quite a it's quite a it's quite a permanent choice, um, so I would caution anyone um, about using that. Um, but you can also um, swap rows and columns to sort of transpose rows and columns, which is really useful if you're using a template which has a sort of wide format and you have a sort of long, um, your, your data is sort of long when you insert into Flourish. Um, so you do that, click that, and we can see the preview change over here. Um, the last thing I want to talk about is inserting and uploading images. So a lot of uh, Flourish templates, like for example, the line chart race and the bar chart race have an image uh, column setting, which lets you sort of uh, add an image to your lines or your bars. Um, and what it asks for is a URL. Um, so if you don't already have an image that you want that is on the internet at a URL, you can control click on a cell, the cell in the image column, and click upload file and that'll let you upload for example whatever this is um, to flourish to our servers and they'll give it a sort of a url which you can then uh, use to um, to display um, the image in flourish in your chart um, this is something that a lot of people don't know about but um, is really sort of useful um, for anyone who's using using flourish um, so I hope that that sort of explained the basics of the data table and in further videos, I'm going to be talking about sort of other um, ways to use the data table, um, but this is definitely um, the basic stuff that you should know.